What's up guys, it's Gutex. I am here with the winner of Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012 at Seasons Beatings Ascension, K Brad from Fight Nation EX. K Brad, yes, sir. congratulations. Thank you. Sir, Thank you. you just beat the world champion of Street Fighter 4, none other than uh, Western Wolves and Mad Cat's very own Infiltration. How does it feel? I can't. The words don't describe it, man. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just extremely happy. I'm just glad that it happened. Um, I finally got a major. And then, and then it couldn't have came at a... This is the perfect major to win, man. And then they, Why is I, that? I, I came because it's infiltration, like I, infiltration, Justin. And I came to I came to plan to win because he said he was making the brackets and everything. And I, I asked for infiltration. I asked for You play. asked for yeah. infiltration? I asked for infiltration. Oh my god. Because most people would be like, Ugh, I got infiltration in my bracket. Yeah. Do you think you could switch it around for yeah. me? <laughs> and you were like, yo. Give me infiltration. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you, you put him into losers. You too owed him. Yep. I think that uh, maybe infiltration was like, ah, you know, who's this guy? He plays Cammy. Whatever. I'm gonna throw some fireballs, do some vortex setups, whatever. Yeah. And you were like, no, sir. No. What was your strategy going into playing infiltration? I mean, you know, obviously. He is no ordinary Akuma. He is literally the undisputed champion of the world. Yes, sir. Well, when I when I went into the match, I knew that the first thing I, I knew I had to get to him because um, I told Plan to win that I wanted to play infiltration, but I felt like I needed to prove myself to get on his level. I told him to put me against somebody hard first round, and then um, if we both beat our opponents, then we would meet up. So they gave me Justin, and you know I beat Justin. So um, and it feels good because Justin has beat me twice in tournament. And CEO was really close. I was supposed to beat Justin and CEO, and I, uh, I choked. And then uh, New York qualifiers, he beat me uh, pretty bad. So beat Justin. I played infiltration. My my thoughts going into the match were, um, I know for a fact his defense is horrible. Like he he has no defense. I know that he tries to get out of setups. He doesn't like to block. He doesn't like to guess between frame traps. And because nobody's really had to make him guess between crouch teching or if I want to stand tech or stuff like that. But when you play a, a good cami, you're forced to do those type of things. Yes. You're forced to crouch tech or you're forced to stand tech or you're forced to not tech at all and maybe eat three or four throws in a row. So my, my, th my thoughts were I'm just going to go in. Once I finally push him towards the corner, I get in his face. That's when I'm going to make him guess. Because I know Akumas and Ryu's like the crouch tech with strong, so you don't, so you can't do dive kicks. Because um, if you do ex dive kick pretty low, it'll it'll hit it. It'll hit the ex dive kick completely. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to frame trap him to death with crouch and fierce. And Akuma is not built to take a hit from Cammy at all. So um, the two the two zero set in winners is um, he ate too many frame traps. He ate too many frame traps. He ate too many dash up um, instant dive kicks. What I would do is, um, uh, when, if, I, if I feel like a person's not waiting for me to dash up, I'll just in, in, instantly dash up and then instantly go into the dive kick because um, I feel like they think I'm gonna throw. And then I catch them with that, and then if they catch on to that, I just walk forward and I try to play footsies. And then when I finally get in, I like to do crouch and fear setups. But I knew if I could exploit his defense, I was gonna win. But I was really concerned about the, um, honestly, it was only, it, it, it was really great for me because I was only concerned with two people at this major, is uh, Snake Eyes and Van Geef because it's so terrible for Cam. It's like it's like horrible. So I played Van Geef at Summer Jam and he five won me in a money match. It was a money match. We he five won me, and it just felt impossible. So I said, Oh man, I'm gonna lose. I looked at the bracket. I was like, Van Geef has to play. If Van Geef has to play. Um, Eduardo, I was like, he's gonna beat Eduardo probably, and then he's gonna have to play live. Like, Geef can beat Ryu. So I was just like, oh, it's hopeless. And even if I do make it, I'm gonna lose. Then when Lav beat, then when Lav beat uh, Van Geef, I was in my head like, yo, he beat him. I was so happy. I was like, okay, now eliminate him. Now somebody eliminate uh, Van Geef. And look, I love Vans, Vans is cool, but I just know it's almost impossible for me to beat him. And I don't, I play other characters, but I would never counter pick. I would never counter pick any turn. I always would just want to counter pick. So, um, when he lost, he got eliminated. He lost to Eduardo. Well, no, no, no. He beat Eduardo, but he lost to Lav, and then he lost to Alex Valle. So when he was out, and I already played Lav in a set. We did a set. Um, it was 5-2. We ran a first of five. I beat him 5-2.
So I felt pretty confident going in, fighting last and winners. Mm -hmm. So once I made it to grand finals, luckily I had Flash Metroid on the left and Dominion on the right coaching me because um, I'm not built for, you know, pressure like this, man. Like, uh, I was freaking out. There was one time he dove kick in and I just did a roundhouse and it was a DP. Yes, it was, it was, supposed, it was supposed to kill him. Mm -hmm. That was going to end the round. And I was so, I was freaking out terribly because he was supposed to be dead. So they all like, calm down, just focus on the next match, you know, it didn't come out. Then there was times where I would dash up and do instant dive and I see his hand come out and then she'll just jump over his head, the instant dive yes. wouldn't come out. So I was really freaking out because of a lot of stuff wasn't coming out and I know that he doesn't let stuff go unpunished. So I was really freaking out about that. So, and then when he reset it, and then he beat me really bad one round, I think he perfected me. And then, you know, every, I hear the crowd, they're rooting against me, like some people that bet against me. And, you know, I was just, I'm just, I'm very thankful for Flash Metroid and Dominion. I, um, I, don't, I don't think I would have won if it wasn't for those two. Yeah, it seems like a, like a growing trend. Yeah. You know, having a, a, a good coaches in your corner is really something that can add to your game. Yeah. Especially at the very high level, high pressure situations such as, you know, fighting the world champion. Yeah. Now, once infiltration reset it, what was going through your mind? Is that um, I was honestly thinking in my head, I don't want him to reset it because I felt like I was going to lose. But after, um, I think I took the I took the first two games and then I was feeling confident. But at the character select screen, they told me to take a, as much time as I need. They told me to just sit there, take all the time I need, just sit there, think about it. Just know that he is running from me. So Flash and Ju Flash comes up, Justin came up. He said, listen, um, he will not block on wake up at all. So just ultra. Like they, they just kept telling me. Flash first told me to um, pick ultra too, um, to uh, eliminate all um, vortex. And I said, well, I said, Flash, I don't use ultra two at all. He said, it's not about using it, it's about the scare that since it's there, he won't try to vortex me. And that was a really smart idea, but I was telling Flash, I said, no, I don't think I want to, you know, I, I think I'm gonna try to catch it. I was like, I think I'm gonna try to catch teleports. So. Yes, and then that was, I think that was one of the only times that you actually hit the ultra in the set, mm -hmm. uh, was when he did, you jumped in and he teleported back and you did the ultra. Was that option select ultra? No, or I just reacted. Just, okay, all right, yeah. yeah. Once you hit that ultra, I think that was, that may have been the turning point. What do Never, you think about yeah, that? that probably was because he told me. Flash told me once you um, he said once you catch him with an ultra, he's going to be hesitant to do anymore. Once right. you have ultra, he was like just for, it was like he's he's feeding you the match, and you're not taking it. They were saying um, he's throwing himself in the corner. He always backed into the corner. He was throwing air projectiles from full screen. And um, I was and focusing. also a low forward fireball. Yeah. So he was just throwing a lot of fireballs to give me the meter. So they just told me to focus them, get my ultra, sit back, get the ultra, get the ultra. And then once I finally got the ultra, they said, then you can go in. Because then you can option, then you can look at it, then you can ultra it. It was just, they, their coaching really did a lot for me. Because I, I, think, I think I'm pretty good, but I feel like sometimes, and stuff, when stuff doesn't happen your way, like when I went for the dive kick, when right. I went for and the roundhouse and I got it, right. it was just, it, it stuff just, it really was messing with my head. Was, I'm really thankful for those two guys. Nice, awesome. Uh, now tell us a little bit about your crew, Fire oh, Nation fine. EX. I mean, I've, I've actually, for the past two years actually, I've been seeing the FNEX tag on Xbox Live. Yeah. But uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, what you guys do. <clears throat> Well, FNEX was started by um, uh, my friend David Smith. His name is uh, Deasha. His tag is Deasha. And um, what, it, what he did was he started a group of guys, you know, it was just like a cr any other crew that somebody just feels like, hey, you know, let's get a group of guys together and we're going to go to these tournaments and, you know, we get our own shirts and everything. And, you know, we'll try to get a sponsor or whatever, whatever have you. So I wasn't in Fight Nation then. I just used to, I was a fan of Deasha. So I just talked to him about random stuff, give him tips and Street Fighter and stuff like that, and say I'm a fan of your YouTube, and we'll play every now and then. So he said, yo, are you part of a team? I said, no, I'm not. Um, and he was like, okay, well, maybe you, um, maybe we should talk, maybe you can join us. He was like, maybe you can, um, maybe you can join Fight Nation. So I was like, um, sure, uh, I'll think about it. I thought about it, and one of my friends were actually in Fight Nation, uh, Raven, Fight Nation, uh, FNDX Raven, Raven Trinity. And um, I was just like, okay, sure. I hung out with them guys, and, um, they, they do a lot for me, man. Like, they, um, they house me whenever I go to, like, tournaments. Like, a lot of them didn't live in the Jersey area, so they house me when I go to tournaments and stuff. There's been times, my first tournament, my breakout tournament was Win a Brawl, I think, uh, two years ago. Well, I think it was two years ago when I beat Aqua Silk. I beat Aqua Silk, and everybody was thinking, like, who is this guy? They actually drove all the way down to Maryland, and they just got me. And I just joined the team. They don't know anything about me. But they came down and drove to Maryland, and it was, I, I definitely appreciate them. So, um, 
and they also actually told me that you know maybe since since I am um uh, like right now I'm the face of Fight Nation, so he was like you know you wanna um. Uh, they might try to offer you sponsorship somewhere else. You know, how do you feel about that? Maybe you can get a sponsorship and, you know, we can still be friends, this, that, and that. But these guys are like my brothers and everything. They house me. They treat me really well. And well, they're like my family now. So I told them if I can't get a sponsorship within the team, like if I can't still be f and and like a sponsor, how a lot of people are doing, then I don't want a sponsor. Like yeah. I, I go to tournaments because it's fun. The, everything about tournaments are fun, and I don't mind coming out of pocket of $200, $300 to go to a tournament or anything like that. Um, but if someone's willing to sponsor me, then it'll be because of the team has leveled up. Mm -hmm. Because everybody in the team is doing well, not just because K Brad is doing well. So nice. that's all. Awesome. Well, hey, K Brad, congratulations Thank on you, beating man. the world champion of Thank Street so Fighter much. 4. Uh, where can people go for more K Brad? Um, um, on Facebook, I'm just at. Uh, my name is Kenneth Bradley, so you go, I think it's, on, it's under Kenneth Johnny Storm Bradley, because Johnny Storm is like my favorite character ever. So it's under Kenneth Johnny Storm Bradley or uh, Facebook.com slash KBradMonster. KBradMonster. Awesome. All right. Well, check out KBrad on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Season's Beatings Ascension. We got more videos coming down the line for you, courtesy of Mad Cats. My name is Gutex, and we'll see you guys later.